This is why you need to know about our awesome atmosphere. Ready to take off? Our atmosphere is like a giant protective blanket that surrounds our planet, keeping us safe and making life possible. It's made up of several layers, each with its own unique features and functions. Let's dive in and explore these fascinating layers together. Let's explore. First up, we have the troposphere. This is the layer closest to Earth's surface, extending up to about 8 to 15 kilometers high. It's where we live and breathe, and it's packed with all the air we need to survive. This is where all the weather happens. From thunderstorms with lightning to beautiful rainbows after the rain, the troposphere is always bustling with activity. It's the reason we have sunny days, rainy afternoons, and snowy winters. Clouds, rain, and even snow. Imagine all the different weather patterns you've experienced. They all occur right here in the troposphere. It's like Earth's very own weather factory, constantly creating new and exciting weather events for us to enjoy. It's like Earth's party zone. Next, meet the stratosphere. This layer starts just above the troposphere and extends up to about 50 kilometers high. It's a bit calmer here, but it has something very special. This layer's got the ozone layer, which is super important for protecting life on Earth. The ozone layer absorbs and scatters the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays, acting like a giant shield. Our superhero shield blocking the sun's harmful rays. Pretty cool, huh? Without the ozone layer, we'd be exposed to dangerous levels of UV radiation, which could harm our skin and eyes. So the stratosphere is like our planet's very own superhero. Flying higher, we enter the mesosphere. It's super cold here, and guess what? The mesosphere is the coldest layer of our atmosphere, with temperatures dropping as low as minus 90 degrees Celsius. Brrr, that's chilly. This is where meteors burn up. Shooting stars, anyone? When you see a shooting star, you're actually watching a meteor burning up as it enters the mesosphere. It's like a natural fireworks show in the sky. Then comes the thermosphere. It's mega hot here. The thermosphere can reach temperatures up to 2,500 degrees Celsius, but it wouldn't feel hot to us because the air is so thin. This layer is home to the northern lights, those beautiful dancing lights in the sky. The northern lights, or aurora borealis, are caused by particles from the sun interacting with the Earth's magnetic field. They create stunning displays of colorful lights that dance across the sky, especially near the poles. Finally, we reach the exosphere. This is the outermost layer of our atmosphere, extending from about 600 kilometers above Earth's surface to the edge of space. It's where our atmosphere gradually fades into the vacuum of space. This is outer space's front yard. Satellites zoom around here, orbiting the Earth and helping us with communication, weather forecasting, and even GPS navigation. The exosphere is like a busy highway for satellites, constantly buzzing with activity, sending signals back to Earth. Thanks to these satellites, we can watch TV, use our smartphones, and even predict the weather. They play a crucial role in our daily lives, making the exosphere an essential part of our modern world. So, next time you look up, remember, our atmosphere is one amazing adventure. Keep exploring, little scientists. There's so much more to learn and discover about our incredible atmosphere. Whether it's the weather in the troposphere, the protective ozone layer in the stratosphere, the freezing temperatures of the mesosphere, the dazzling northern lights in the thermosphere, or the satellite highways of the exosphere, our atmosphere is full of wonders waiting to be explored. So keep asking questions, stay curious, and never stop exploring the amazing world around you. For more fun facts, subscribe the Brainy Mama channel.